Hey there, so today we have another review and this is another beer from Degard. This is the Frambois. So I've already done cherry, I've done blueberry, and this is the um, raspberry edition, obviously, Frambois. So this is a 6.5% uh, spontaneous aged beer. Uh, this is aged in oak port barrels. So let's dig into it. Uh, really excited. Uh, Degard has really impressed with the beers that I've had from them recently. So let's try it out. Oh man, look at that color. So this beer pours in this beautiful, first off, you just look at the head. It's absolutely gorgeous. It comes in this uh, cotton candy kind of pink, almost like carnation kind of color. And then the beer has a little bit of purple to it. Is it purple? Yeah, maybe. Just really deep red. Not quite blood color, away from light looks a little bit like that, a little bit lighter than blood, but beautiful, just rich red flavor to it. Just like a deep, deep ruby. Uh, absolutely beautiful beer. Let's get the aroma. So. On the nose, it is, uh, yeah, obviously very fruit forward. A good amount of funk. I'm getting a lot of funk, this kind of, I mean, there's a deep amount of funk and you start calling it barnyard. I know that's an overused word that people use, but not too intense, like some of the uh, traditional Belgian beers, Cantillon, Andre Fontaine. In. But there's a little bit of that. There's a little bit of that kind of, um, what do they call it? Baby diaper, kind of like light kind of poop, kind of <laughs> aromatic to it. But yeah, rich amounts of uh, fruity raspberry qualities. It has like, um, I mean, it's just straight up like fresh raspberries. Um, not necessarily too fresh in the sense that this is more, it's surrounded by the funkiness of the beer. So it's not this like bright kind of Berliner Weiss where you're just get injecting a good amount of fruit character into the beer. This is fruit character, but co combined with a lot of uh, funkiness and acidity. Yeah, the, the the nose on this is absolutely insane. Cheers. <laughs> wow. So uh, on the palate, good amount of lactic acidity on this one. So again, lactic acidity is kind of the acidity that you get from yogurt, and it has that kind of flavor driving around in it. Has a little of that kind of. It's it's very yogurty. Yeah, uh, th that flavor just follows through very well. It continues with fruit flavor, so it's sort of like that scoop from the bottom cup of the yogurt you get. Bright, beautiful carbonation on this one. Quite acidic, medium plus, high acidity. Um, a, a nice balance, a little bit of acidic sort of driving on the back and the palate sort of stinging light touches of it, but I really like the good amount of lactic here. Bubbles just move around, move this beer around. It's very dry. It's very light. It really doesn't drink like 6.5%. Again, the sour beers can be very deceptive on their ABV because the acidity is uh, up, up in front. So you really do, uh, don't sense the alcohol a lot of times. As for the fruit character, yeah, it has a little bit of muddled strawberry note, a good amount of the seeds coming through. So not really like raspberry jam, but sort of like something that has been, it sort of tastes like spent raspberries, if that makes any sense. Sort of the, the qualities of the raspberries are there, the fruitiness is there, but feels like it's not as uh, punchy, which is completely fine. I mean, that's how they've uh, you know developed this beer. I imagine the fruits were added with fermentation going on, so the bugs have really chewed into the raspberries and uh, uh, eaten up the sugars. That's killer. I will say, though, I feel like this one might be a little bit more sharp and acidic. Um, there's a little bit of oak character driving in the back end. I'm curious if I'm tasting any port in here because the fruity qualities of port might be blending uh, in with the raspberries. I feel like if I had to rank them, this would be near the blueberry. The creek was absolutely crazy. Uh, this was still very good as for rating. I mean, to think of an American producer producing beer of this quality, that is anything of relevance to something like a Cantillon would be absolutely insane. And it's not in the Belgium uh, strain of things. It is De Gard. De Gard is a location and they are doing what they do with spontaneous beer. But um, the fact that you have such beautiful complexity here and I love the carbonation, the fruitiness is nice and complex and not just straight jam in your face uh, kind of flavors. And so as for rating, that's beautiful. 97. Just gorgeous sour beer. I mean, what, what else can I say? 97. Um, yeah. This is the guard, the front bar. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.